Hi guys, this is Anastasia and today we're gonna learn how to apply SBCR material directly in Maya. SBCR stands for Substance Archive and contains a compressed version of your material. First of all, where to download SBCR material? You can go to Adobe Substance 3D Asset Library, type any material you want and see what do they have in there. Usually each material goes with a few presets. By the way, I need to make a note, it's not for free. I think it costs around 40 or 50 dollars per month, but there is a free version. It's called Adobe Substance 3D Community Assets. I will leave a link below in the description. Here you can find some cool stuff like asphalt, food, fabrics and so many more from other artists. As soon as we've downloaded a material, we need a plugin. It's called Substance Plugin for Maya. You can find it on the official website of Substance. Choose your software and click download. The installation process is absolutely regular. As soon as you are ready, let's jump into Maya and install the plugin. Let's create an empty scene. Windows, settings slash preferences, plugin manager. Search for substance. Click auto load and then load it. We are ready to apply the first material. I will start with a sphere. Don't forget to smooth it, it's number 3 on your keyboard. So it's not a big deal, but it will be looking much better. Go to Hypershade and just drag inside the file with the material. Click on the Substance node, scroll down, choose your render engine, I have Arnold, and create network. It might take a few seconds to load. Choose the AI shader node and let's rename it. I'll call it Lava and let's assign the material to the sphere. I want to see the render preview. It probably doesn't look good from the first time. Yes, that doesn't look right. So let's fix it. We go back to the hypersheet and select the displacement node. I will start with fixing the silhouette distortion. The higher the scale parameter is, the stronger the silhouette distortion. I would set it on 0.2 for the beginning. We also have a vertical slash horizontal distortion. Let's select a 2D texture node to adjust it. 1 to 1 is not always the ideal ratio, so you need kind of experiment here. You remember that each material might have a few versions of it, which are called presets. We choose again the Substance node and scroll down till Preset section. We can switch here between them by clicking Apply. Let's see what we got. I just want to quickly fix the light to see it better on the preview. It's quite a strong distortion, I would say. It needs to be fixed. So you can see, if you already fixed one preset, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be a solution for all of them. If you switch multiple times between presets in Maya, Maya can bug out and start mixing these presets. My solution is to delete the material from the hypershade and create it one more time. It's not ideal, but it would definitely work. I'm deleting now all nodes and starting over. Bring the file, choose our node, create network. Choosing displacement map, let's put scale on 0.17. Choose 2D texture node, I'll put it on 1.3 and 1. Our lava shader is ready. By the way guys, I have a small announcement. I'm also trying to be active in other social media like Instagram and TikTok. I'm posting short tips and tricks, my artworks, which I don't record long videos for, and also some thoughts about 3D art. These are my profiles. If you find it useful, please consider subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.